Here. Hope you guys love the cozy little intro. Although I'm, I've got a fire indicating it's cold and I made myself an ice cold ginger ale, but I was definitely in the mood for one. Um, yeah, I just need a drink with me today. Um, I really haven't been drinking coffee. I haven't drank coffee in weeks, but um, you know, cheers. So I hope you guys grab a, a drink of your choice. I have a big Dollar Tree haul today and I found some new things so I'm just, I'm excited. Um, it's funny because I found some gift bags and I was just trying to condense the gift bag collection I already have. If you missed yesterday's video, I took you guys on a tour through my craft room which is where the bulk of my Dollar Tree finds go. So. But anyways, these gift bags are so cute. I could not pass up on them. Um, so let me just show you guys what I found. This one is my favorite. I would say if Mickey's your thing or your child's thing or whatever, run and get this bag because this is giving me a little bit of like retro vibes and it's so, I didn't look at the side at the store. Does the other side say mouse? No, okay, it says Mickey, but still so freaking cute. This is the best Mickey bag I've ever seen come through Dollar Tree. I love the popcorn. Yeah, everything about him is so cute. Um, so there's that. All right, then I found this little trio set and you can just tell by looking at them that they like kind of go together. Also, I wish that this haul could be interactive because I would just like hand this to you through the screen so that you could feel the quality. It's like a thick material wise. This is a little bit more flimsy. I love the material like this and this one is so cute. Yeah, look at that. What? And then they have the penguin. I honest to God, I don't know what, what this is. Is it a bear? I don't know, tell me. And then little penguin, the black bag. Oh yeah, these are so amazing. Love to see it. And then this is a bear, polar bear. Oh, that is so cute. You could definitely craft with this as well. So just gonna throw that out there. I've craft a lot in the past with Dollar Tree gift bags, like making planner covers, dividers. And then I found this one, which I just thought was cute. I don't know what it is about sharks on like things like this that I think is adorable. But let me tell you, when I actually go into the ocean, I don't go past my knee because of this. Just absolutely, absolutely not. No, thank you. Good day. Not, not my bones. I also have some drinks today. I found this, which is a new water. I've never seen this before. I don't know if it's being sold like in a local grocery store, Walmart, Target, whatever. Um, I just thought the whole packaging was very unique. And then the label was really interesting on it too. Um, you could definitely like pause if you, if you can even read that. But it says it's sourced in the USA and that pure and pristine water doesn't need to just come from Fiji or France. Um, Eternal is sourced from some of the best water in the world right here in America. Our protected underground sources are located in pristine and isolated places far from industrialization. Um, BPA free, the bottle's recyclable, and it says natural pH 7.7 .7 to 8.2, which I think is where like water needs to naturally be. So I'm very excited about this water. So I'm gonna give that a go. And then I thought I'd do a taste test on camera because I found these drinks at Dollar Tree and I know I've never hauled them before and I got three of them. So I'm gonna taste them and let you guys know what I think. So we've got Orangeade. So I guess it's supposed to be like lemonade. Then we have lemonade and then pink lemonade. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these open. Taste 
tastes like lemonade. Tastes really good, actually. It's pretty good, I guess. I mean, it, I feel like it kind of tastes the same. Not, not, I don't know. I don't want to describe it, but here's the orange one. This one I've been really excited to try. Okay, you know what these might be good for? Like, root beer floats. Yeah, these two definitely. And the pink tastes good too. I just don't know that it tastes like pink lemonade, but I also don't have it all the time. So there's that. But just to let you guys know, here's how I make lemonade. Like I'll just get like store bought like this, but then I'll also buy frozen fruit, like frozen strawberries, kind of crush it up in the drink. And then it'll kind of also act like an ice cube. Uh, you gotta try it. So like with this one, frozen strawberries, and I'm also thinking frozen raspberries might be really good. So while I was looking at the bags, I found a bunch of stuff in the party section that I thought was new. So I found these tissue paper confetti tubes. So they're just like confetti poppers, super fun. If you watched my uh, craft room, I gave you guys a tour through all of my drawers. These will go in the birthday drawer. So, and I wanna point out that there are two different color confetti pops. So this one's looking more pastel and then some bold, bright colors on that one. Love that we're getting that option. And then I also found uh, party poppers like this one right here. It's like a different style. Love this, very exciting. Um, and then I found these gift boxes. Dollar Tree's calling them gift card holders. But what shook me was this black one because Dollar Tree rarely does a black like this. They'll do like the standard gold, silver stuff in the party section, but black gift bags, you know, the more like classy chic styles, kind of hard to find at Dollar Tree. So I wanna show you guys, here's the gold and the silver, very pretty little boxes, but this black one, this black one is just, it's unmatched in my opinion. It's so pretty. There's a little bit of like hot glue, but, what? Oh yeah. This is a must grab in my opinion. So I found those. And then I don't know what possessed me. I found some summer items and they're inflatable decors. And I don't know, comment, were these out at your store last summer in 2021? Because I'm just now seeing these, but it's also too early in my opinion for Dollar Tree to be stocking new things that they haven't stocked before, if that makes sense. So I'm feeling like, why am I just now seeing these? The strawberry one just gets me every, every damn time. It is so freaking cute. And I'm gonna blow these up so that you guys can see what they look like. So let's take a look at the pineapple one first. Super cute, very summery. I'm just so excited for summertime, you guys. I mean, I know we haven't even hit spring yet. Um, spring is actually like my least favorite, but, and only because of allergies. And then here's the watermelon. The watermelon's very pretty too. And I love just the metallic foiled look to them. And then we have the lemon, which the lemon one confused me because I wish they didn't add the words to it. It was the only one that they did this with. I think it would have been just I think the lemon one would have flown off the shelves if they didn't have the words. I mean, even with the words, it's cute, but that's my two cents. And then the strawberry one is just so adorable. Like, let's say you're gonna have a birthday theme and it's gonna be like strawberry shortcake. Grab you the strawberry. And then I found these. These are also a must grab. You just never know. And one of my favorite things to do is to gift things in a unique packaging that's not necessarily like a st typical standard gift bag. Like I love the gift bags too, but it's always fun to switch things up. And I found takeout boxes. You can see it says gift boxes though. So it's so cute and you get three for the price. What? So I found it in the pink set. I found it in a green set, the orange. Sorry, this isn't working out very well. The orange, which is probably my favorite, and the blue, also my favorite. This is just absolutely darling. I don't 
don't know if I've hauled these before. I kind of feel like I might have. But like, listen, here we are. I found some lanyards by the juncture line at Dollar Tree. You can see this one has a lemon theme, which this print right here, I've seen Dollar Tree use in other things. Um, and then here's this one with like a bicycle. I know, I'm not, I should open these up so that you can actually kind of see what they look like. But here's the bicycle print, really cute. And then they have this one, which I was just like, what? I didn't get it. Um, but it's the, if you shop at Dollar Tree all the time, you're going to recognize this print. It's, they've done this leaf print before on like plates, napkins, all of those things. Cups, they've even used this print before. I guess they used it on a lanyard, but all right. And then here's this one, just like a little chevrony type. And then a buffalo check. I feel like this one would probably be the favorite, this one and the lemon one. So there's that. I love watching like teacher TikToks. I, I don't know why. And it, it, the funny thing is, is I've never like ever wanted to be a teacher. I, I don't think it's for me. I think it takes a special person. Um, but I love watching their like classrooms. I love like seeing their little outfits they put together and their lanyards. It just seems so fun. Like their earrings too, always adorable. And Loki, of course, wants to appear. Say hi. Stand up so everyone can see you. See how handsome, oh my God, you're a big boy. You're just five months old. You can be a big boy. Yeah, very, very big. The biggest, the biggest in the whole world. I absolutely hated that I did not get Valentine's Day content really out for you guys this year. Um, I've just been so busy doing all the final decorations of the house. I'm still waiting to do the library. And unfortunately, Valentine's Day kind of like suffered in this, um, but I'm not gonna drop the ball on Easter. I'm very excited for Easter. And I'm excited to kind of like see what Dollar Tree is gonna do. They still haven't like actually stocked really Easter. Um, they've just been adding a couple things at my store. So I'm very excited. I've shown you guys some really cute finds lately, but look at these little hand soaps. I They did these hand soaps, I think last year, but I can't remember if these are like yeah, they didn't do them exactly like this, I don't think. But you get the little chick and the bunny and it's hand soap. Like this is so adorable. Definitely like in a kid's bathroom, in a like guest bathroom or just in your bathroom. Whatever makes you happy. Pretty random, but I picked up some sticker. It's a habit to just say stickers, but I picked up some scissors. I got these specifically for my craft room. Um, scissors is like, equivalent to when people say I lose socks all the time. I lose scissors all the time. Like literally where do they go? Where? Um, but I just wanted to make sure I had some for upstairs so that I'm not having to like move scissors around if that makes sense. So I feel like that's how they get lost. So there's that. And then I just picked up a duster. Just one of these just to do some dusting, which I need to do. I need to dust um, my doors so i got these specifically just to like target the doors um so there's that and then i found some easter books that i thought were really cute of course these are going to be for my niece and my nephew um i always say my niece a lot just because my nephew's still too young like you know i can't really get him too many toys because he's only a couple months old but this one is springtime with the foxes and then springtime with the llamas that is so cute. <laughs> Love that. Springtime with the dinos. Ooh. Didn't see the dinosaurs coming. That's really cute. And then springtime with the unicorns. Oh my, look at the, look at the rain clouds. Oh my God, I'm here for that. That is so cute. But yeah. Oh, it's raining. And then I found these 
just like little plain springtime with friends. Oh, that one was not right. There we go. I'll just show you guys kind of what they look like. And so maybe you could even like craft with this. Feel like into that? So I'll just show you. Yeah, the images are very cute. Obviously, I'm not showing you every page, just so you can kind of get a general idea. These will be fun. If you need to like send some Easter items in a care package, these would be great. That. These kind of look all the same. This little four set, these look unique, but these kind of like look like the same story. But anyways, there's that. And then the last couple of things I got some Easter and St. Patrick's Day um, cards that I thought were really cute. But these are so great to craft with, to journal with, um, not just like using them to actually mail them out. So here's this one. So like, for example, you could definitely like either cut the top, you know, a St. Patrick's Day wish. I mean, you could leave that, that's cute too. But I mean, look how cute that little town is with the rainbow love it and then the card colors are really pretty lime green um and then let me just show you all the st patrick's day ones and then i'll show you the easter ones here's this one this one i thought was really funny and modern it just looks like a text message with the emojis so i thought that one was really cute i had to definitely share this one with you guys but very unique and then this one, I think I might send to my niece, unless I find like something else that I like. Um, this lucky little Irish bug, and then the um, rainbow has some like glitter to it. And then here is this one right here, which I thought was so pretty. I love how vibrant and kind of like warm the image looks. I definitely thought of crafting. So I got these two craft with because I'm finally going to get back in that. Um, and then the Easter ones are in the yellow. That's another thing is that you can definitely tell by the color of the envelopes what holidays they're for. Um, so here's this Easter one. And I try to also look for cards that don't say like to my grandson or to my niece, to my nephew. I like the ones that are just plain because in one, could be for anybody and two you can craft with it you know and you don't have to try to like cover it but look how cute this little bunny is um here's this one which is a money holder but again could definitely craft with this as well so pretty they might have done this one last year and then this one i thought for my nephew and then they also had it in the mini version as well i thought for my niece um, I'm not sure though if I'm actually going to choose these for their Easter cards um, in case I feel like I see anything cuter. I mean, this is pretty cute, but um, I don't know. We'll see. That's it for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to be doing a Dollar General haul soon, so definitely stick around for that. And well, fingers crossed that I walk into Dollar General and I kind of find things that I think you know, will be worth. Cause sometimes I have walked out of there with nothing. So it, it's like a hit and miss with my store. So we'll see. But um, I'm trying to think of what else is coming. There's probably gonna be a Walmart haul this Saturday. So if you're interested in that, that's gonna happen Saturday. And, but that's it for today. So I hope you guys again enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.